What's up, fellow Scorpios? Before I start this reading, I'm going to go ahead and say that we need to work on boundaries. <laughs> you all know it. <laughs> And what's with all the other signs trying to be like us, huh? They're all like, oh, I got Scorpio on my chart. No, you don't. Shut up. <laughs> so if you're a fucking Cancer sun, Scorpio ascendant, I'm glad that Scorpio resonates with you, but go fuck yourself. Should be spreading hate along, amongst the astrological community, but I don't care. I'm a Scorpio. I do what I want. Or maybe that's the Capricorn on my chart. Anyhow, let's see what's going on, guys. What do we need to know for the week of um, the 14th, May 14th, 2020. What does Scorpio got going on? The Five of Cups reversed. And the King of Cups regular. Mm -hmm. Oh, that astrology shop. I almost just said not retrograde. Okay, so where we're at right now in the reading is that you've already hit the lowest point because of somebody who's a master of their domain. Um, whatever preferred realm of corruption they're peddling. This all stems out from a truth coming to light. A truth about an emotion. Watch out for a disbalance in the future. We we'll go through and uh, clarify each card for the second deck. The overall theme is finding your passion. Or embodying it. How does the world see Scorpio? I'm just kidding, Scorpio Ascendants. I still love you. The world sees you as somebody that gives and takes equally in their relationships. Okay, so the world sees you as being a part of equal give and take, and then you see the world as being blind to the corruption that it's being controlled by. Your greatest fear in this situation is falling apart from a group that you love or that you value. Okay, so the outcome likely, if nothing changes, Lashing out at the structure. <clears throat> You're going to lash out at the structure. That's flawed. Everybody's fucking following blindly, like ignorant sheeple or whatever, you know. I mean, you're all crazy there. I guess it's, you know, you're Scorpios too, so you're probably used to it. This is one of my favorite decks I'm about to clarify with. It smells like demon. I know some of the other signs can't handle that shit, but guys, I know you can. They're just demons. They're no different than us. Or an angel or a fairy. It's all the same shit. <sighs> clarify. Okay, so clarifying the Five of Cups with the tower means, you know, the tower's disaster. Already hitting your or lowest point. That makes sense. The Ace of Pentacles is clarifying the King of Primordialism. It's a master of the domain. Uh, maybe we were offered, you were offered a gift. Uh, or something the equivalent of a gift. By this deceitful energy. Ace of
clarifying the Ace of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I would read that as the, the truth about Sorry, the so card comes up twice. I always try to read from the book because I mean I'm missing something. Oh, okay. The truth regarding how things could be perfectly happy uh, situation. How things could be lovely. Except for this manipulative energy. It's a page of cups. Regarding the emotion. Not letting this emotional cycle end. Don't be afraid to move away from this, this unbalanced energy, this selfish, or even if it's overgiving, it's unbalanced. And if it's overgiving, you have to question why. <clears throat> this overgiving energy. You're, you're giving the chariot to clarify, so in the future, I think you'll be you're giving it a good chance to move away from it. So, finding your passion with Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. I mean, the, it seems like the clear choice is right there. You just have to be willing to take the choice, or to take, you know, speak your truth. Some, something has taken your balance away from you. It's almost like people are celebrating the their own willingness to become a pawn to this manipulation, this negativity. And then a loss of finances is indicated there, and I'm wondering what the gift was in the beginning that you were offered. Heartbreak. You're going to have to leave the party of people that you love. But prosperity and divine guidance is waiting for you. And when I say divine guidance, I mean like God. I mean the universe, like, we are all divine. The truth in yourself is waiting for you. It's going to be lonely, and it's going to hurt. But it's the only way to get your true heart out there. So, fellow Scorpios, basically, it's going to be time to take a stand against people being willing to be either controlled or controlling. It's time for us to stand up for balance and for what's true and right and follow our own calling and not, I hate to say belly up because, you know, we're Scorpios, we don't belly up, but, I mean, let's be realistic. All we really want is for someone to love us. <laughs> so if it comes down to sacrificing the illusion that we have that people love us, or finding our true calling, it's time for us to choose our true calling and not pretending that people love us. If we stay in a situation where we know we're not meant to be, if we stay in a situation that we know isn't for us, we'll never have a chance to find the situation that is for us. And I know it's it's easy to want to be comfortable and want to be happy and to pretend, but ask yourself this, Scorpios, and I know that you guys are real motherfuckers because brus, okay? How much longer can you stand by and choose to feign 
agreement with something that you disagree with. Why, why do we hold on to these things? We already know why. But you'll never find the true acceptance and love unless you walk out of a situation that's uncomfortable. I hope you guys are still hanging on to this. This is the important part. The universe will give you what you'll accept over and over again until you say, hey, universe, eat a bowl of dicks. I will not accept this thing that is beneath me. I will not accept this thing that is not what I deserve. I deserve what's good for me. And when you stop accepting things that are not good for you and that are mediocre or passable, and you don't need them, you, you can survive without them, without these tiny indulgences, then the universe will start rewarding you with what you deserve. They'll, they'll level you up. And it's part of discipline and it's part of enlightenment. So um, I wish you the best, guys. Um, it's never easy, but I know we can do it. So good luck.